Hello Universal Energies, it's your girl Taurus Takeover here to show you guys how I am setting my Selenite stone that I have here. Um, I've already set it silently. I like to do a two-step process where I do it silently and then I do it out loud. So it's a pretty long process to set these stones, you guys. And, um, you know, so I'll just share the, the last phase of it where I uh, do it out loud with you guys. So if you have a selenite stone, you can go ahead and get it. Or when you get it, you can, you know, come back to this video to do the stone. These come in one. Sometimes, you know, they'll come like a little one. They look like a little pencil, but they're clear. Um, but I got this one because this one actually recharges all my other stones. Um, so I'll sit my stones on this at night. It's kind of small. They say the bigger the better, but what I'll probably do is put, um, you know, I'll sit it flat like this and I'll sit my, um, you know, as many stones I can get on there, but knowing me, I'll probably put like the upper chakra stones on there and then the lower chakras another night. But um, that's the main reason I got this stone was to charge the other ones. Um, but once I start getting all the information, this stone does so much more. So you guys are about to hear what it does. Um, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. Um, you know, it's a little bit different. Um you know everybody does it their own way but this is just mine uh so again i've written out all the information i've probably pulled it from about oh god i don't know four or five different websites of on selenite trying to get uh i like to get in-depth information i don't like to just get it from one source you know i like to get it from multiple sources so that that way i know what the stone does to the maximum extent okay so here we go setting my selenite stone i'm so ready to charge it up you guys well not charge this up it's charged right now but i mean charge my other stones um oh yeah a good surprise for all my taurus out there i find out here's another stone for taurus so yay this is a zodiac taurus stone which makes sense because we're the 12th house which is the you know esoteric mystical spiritual house so it only makes sense so this is the taurus stone as well as the solar light if you haven't watched my solar light video go ahead and watch that but this is also a good stone uh throat chakra for my taurus is out there team taurus okay so here we go uh i set this selenite stone this is a cleansing stone, a healing stone, a luck and protection stone. This is a spiritual growth stone. It's a calming stone. It's a high energy stone. This stone will cleanse and clear energy. It will connect me with higher realms. It will clear, open, and activate the crown and higher chakras, specifically the third chakras, the soul star etheric it will strengthen memory. It will ease connections to higher realms. It will promote purity and honesty. Uh, it will help with mental clarity. It will clear energy blockages. It will transmit advice and information from spirit guides or guardian angels. It will connect to me to higher level of consciousness. It will boost mental balance while establishing physical balance. It will ward off toxic energy. It clears negativity and tension. Um, it will align and balance harmony. It will lift uh, my mood and spirit. It will help me with relaxation and serenity. This will uh, cleanse the energy of other stones. It is a powerful energy amplifier for other stones. Uh, this will help me with illumination, clarity of mind, balance in my mind and emotions, harmony, peace this is the stone of reconciliation and working things out uh, this will help me with considerate communication calm understanding respect in all relationships this will benefit all relationships this stone will help me benefit all relationships it will open my mind to see my true self and spiritual perspective uh, it will give me access to gifts from past life and access to future lives I will understand my higher purpose. This is a protection stone from negativity. It will help me clear the mind. It will improve my physical health. It will restore healthy energy flow. 
It will encourage positive thinking and positive outlook. This is the stone uh, to assist with proper alignment of spine and the skeletal system. It's great for absorption of uh, vitamins and minerals in the body. It will alleviate problems uh, in fertility, sex, and childbirth. It will cleanse the aura of all toxins that affect physical body. It will instill deep peace. It will awaken and strengthen my telepathic abilities. It will release other people's unwanted energies. I take in the light and I am the light. I set this seal of night stone for these purposes that I just set them for. May it uses the maximum power that it holds to bring me um, all these qualities that I put forth. And now this stone is set with my intentions uh, for what I wanted it to do. So everything I read is what I'm expecting this stone to do that it already does. But I set those intentions. So get your stone out. Set your intentions. at seal of night. I'm looking forward to putting all my little stones. You know, I got my amethyst and my crown. You know, I ain't sitting nothing on this thing until after I set it. Okay, I'm very cautious like i got a few stones in there like a uh, rose quartz and black obsidian and carnelian that i haven't used and i won't touch until i set it so the same way i set this stone is the way i'll do those um and of course i'll you know do those online so you guys can see it um because I, I really like to put out what part of the body it helps and heals as well but i'm very particular about setting my stones i don't use them until i set the intentions for that way i know what i'm using it for and i know the energy that's putting out um and the purpose and the intention so they say this stone can be cleansed um, by the moonlight you know sitting it out in moonlight and having it in uh, sunny areas during the day being that this is a you know stone of light um so I'm excited about this stone. I ain't going to be soaking these other ones in no salt water and doing all that. They're going to be going right on this stone, okay? Um, so, I'm happy about this. It's the first stone I've set for 2020. Uh, it was on me to do this one. So, I'm very energy-based, based on energy. So, I'm very glad that I did it because this stone, it does a lot, okay? I just got it to recharge my stones, but as you heard... This stone has a lot of qualities, okay? So I'm looking forward to the greatness that's going to come with this. Thank you for watching, you guys. I'm on Instagram now at Universal Energies. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. No matter what sign you are, go ahead and look on the playlist. Find your sign and go watch whatever video jumps out to you based on your sign. Um, I'll have the Zodiac uh, Tarot. Uh, videos up as well so make sure you check those out as well as the other spiritual rock videos that i put up i believe i did soda light i know i did some other ones i just can't think of it right now but go check it out there will be more coming soon this year more zodiacs tarot more uh setting stones the more i learn the more i share so thank you guys for watching share some love share some lights Enjoy your life and I will see you guys in the next video.